Migrants trying to cross the southern border today as the clock ticks on Title 42 here in the United States. The controversial border policy ends at 11.59 tomorrow night. It was put in place when the pandemic began to try to prevent the public health crisis from getting worse. Migrants were expelled much more quickly due to COVID restrictions. But as our Don Timoney explains, some in Philadelphia are worried about what Title 42's expiration could mean for our city. City officials and their community partners say they don't really know what to expect with the end of Title 42, but they will continue to accept and help asylum seekers. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney's office tweeting these pictures of 30 migrants arriving at 30th Street Station from Texas this morning, including eight children, all from Venezuela. It is the first bus in months and comes just hours before the enforcement of Title 42 ends and a potential influx of asylum seekers coming to Philadelphia. It's relatively early to be drawing trends based on this one bus. Um, and for that reason, the city's plan is scalable, flexible, uh, ready to welcome folks uh, from, from all communities, all languages. The city says it has welcomed a total now of 20 buses since November of last year, helping nearly 900 asylum seekers. City officials say nothing changes moving forward. We don't know how many buses are uh, coming. We don't know um, how many are on our way or how many individuals to expect. We're monitoring the situation um, at the border, working with our federal partners, um, and we'll continue to, to open our arms and be welcoming for as long as necessary. Catherine Miller Wilson is with Highest Pennsylvania, which provides legal and social services to at risk asylum seekers. She says people can help by donating food, clothes, and money. They don't have anything. They've walked across three countries. Countries. They've been camping. They have nothing but the clothes on their back. They often don't have appropriate shoes. Wilson says she's not worried about the number of migrants. She says the real problem, they're not allowed to work in this country and the paperwork takes months and months. So people come in and they're told, you are not allowed to work. Yes, you're allowed to be here. How are you supposed to support yourself? Good luck, there's a church down the street. Good luck, there's a shelter across the way. Miller Wilson is urging people to call and write their local congressmen and women, urging them to demand automatic work authorization so these people can start a new life in America and take care of their families. Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News.